Well, now that many of us have blown the budget on holiday gifts, it's time to start thinking about setting some new saving goals in the new year. As Local 4 business editor and certified financial planner Ron Maloney tells us, Uncle Sam is giving you a hand up in the new year to make it happen. For all he spends, Uncle Sam still is making it very easy and very helpful for you to save for retirement. In 2022, they've increased the amount that you can set aside in your retirement plan. The IRS has new savings limits for qualified plans like the 401k and 403b, and they're also including the 457 retirement plan. You'll now be able to put away $20,500, up from $19,500 this year. And that comes right off the top, reducing your income for the year. You pay the tax when you take the money out from your account, usually after retirement. Now, Nathan Mercero is a certified financial planner and CEO of Planning Alternatives of Bloomfield Hills. He believes the best way to think of these kinds of savings opportunities. I always encourage people to pay yourself first, view your savings as a bill, that you just take care of it just like you would uh, allocate money for electricity or gas and uh, food and supplies, things like that. Consider saving into your retirement plan as a bill and make sure that you do it consistently. Once more, for the over 50 set, there is still the catch-up provision, allowing an additional $6,500 of savings each year. And while that number did not change for 2022, Uncle Sam is still allowing a total of $27,000 of annual tax-deferred savings. Julie Quick is a certified financial planner from Cultivate Financial Wellness, and she has a surprising message for you 49-year-olds. Even if you turn 50 at some point during next year, you are able to make that catch-up contribution throughout the entire calendar year. And if that's not enough for you, there is still another savings opportunity. Check with your employer about a Roth 401k, saving with after-tax dollars. So the 401k that offers a Roth is actually a very good opportunity to save for the future and it's not income dependent. Whereas if you were to save into a Roth IRA outside of a 401k, your eligibility depends on how much uh, income you make or your household income depending on your tax filing status. And there is one more thing you can do even at a fairly high income level and that's have another individual retirement account, either one you've already established or you can start a new one. $6,000 you can set aside if you're under 50, over 50, it's another $1,000, $7,000. If you can do all of that, you have my sincerest admiration. Rod Maloney, Local 4. And if you know Rod, that's hard to achieve. That's right. <laughs> if you missed any of that, we're posting all of Rod's year-end financial stories to click on Detroit.com. I'd love it if he said that to me. I've been time. trying to get Rod's admiration for seven years. All right, well, let's Still see who gets trying. it between the two of us. All right, we'll work on that. <laughs> uh, still to come.